Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today in this video, I am going to give you the review of a new room that's making waves in the market, which is Tequila Oyas. This room is based on the latest Android 13 and comes with the March 2023 Android security update. With its sleek design and impressive features with stable performance, Tequila Oyas is quickly becoming a top choice for Android users looking for a simple and stable room for their devices. So if you're curious to know more about this room and whether whether it's worth trying out, stick around as I give you a deep review and showcase its new features, customizations, Antutu benchmark score, Geekbench 5 and 6 scores, CPU throttling test result, safety net status and many more. So let's start the video. So as you can see this room is based on latest Android version which is Android 13 and I have installed this tequila OS on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max which is a amiotl device. You can also see the Android security update is of latest March 5, 2023 and it has melon kernel used in this room. User experience I have been using Tequila OS for a week now and I am happy to report that I haven't experienced any lags, slowdowns or shuttering while using this room. In fact, I am impressed by how fast and responsive it is. The app opening and closing speed is especially noteworthy, apps launch almost instantly and switching between them is smooth and seamless. But don't just take my word for it, let me know in the comments how you have found the app opening and closing speed on this room. Camera. Now moving towards camera, this room comes with Lineage OS Aperture Camera which has photo, video and scan feature in it and from this camera you can take video up to 4K at 60fps and every mode in this camera app is functioning perfectly. Antutu Benchmark Score Moving towards some benchmark scores, I'll start with Antutu Benchmark and you can see the score that this Tequila OS has given is 355618 which is a good score because recently I did a review of Dorfest Room which has the Antutu score of 340340 and in Spark OS the Antutu Benchmark score was 354733 Geekbench 5 score. Moving towards next benchmark score, I'll show the result of Geekbench 5 score and as you can also see the score for single core is 555 and for multi core the score is 1558 and if we compare this score with latest Dorfest room which has single core score of 560 and multi core score of 1608. This time it has little low score than Dorfest but this score that we got is not a bad score for this phone. Geekbench 6 score. Now let's check the result of Geekbench 6 test and the Geekbench 6 single core score of this ROM is 742 and multi core score is 1786. And in latest Surface ROM the single core score was 745 and multi core score was 1748 and the score is almost identical this time. CPU throttling test. Moving towards next test result which is CPU throttling test and I have conducted this test for straight 15 minutes and you can see the results on the screen. And in Dorfest room after doing same test for 15 minutes CPU has throttled to 94% and the average score was 163960. Safety net status. Now let's check safety net status of the room on this device and as you can see it has passed safety net compatibility test. And if you look at Google Play protection on Google Play Store app, the device is certified written which is a good thing. Wallpapers and styles. Now moving towards wallpapers and styles, it has minimal features included in it like it comes with Android 13 wallpaper colors and basic colors as well as it has other few options like dark theme, themed icons and app grid and this app grid has only 3 options to select and maximum size limit is 5 into 5. Quick settings. Now let me show you the quick setting panel on Tequila OS. As you can see there are only two tiles in this section and all the unnecessary ones have been removed. You will find some of the useful tiles like QR scanner, extra dim, calculator and more. These tiles make it easy to access important settings and features quickly without having to dig through menus or settings. 
settings. Now let's see what this Tequila OS ROM has to offer in its settings section. And first you will find Tequila OS setting from where you can customize your device. At first there is status bar section from where you can enable double tap to sleep option and this will put your phone to sleep mode whenever you double tap on this status bar. But unfortunately this feature is not functioning at all. And below there is network traffic option which will show real time network activity on status bar or on quick setting panel. And from its quick setting panel you can change the position of brightness slider between never so, so when expanded and always so. I want brightness slider to appear when I swipe down from the top so I always use so always option but you can use as to your preferences. <coughs> And inside notifications, there are not so many options. You will get option like annoying notification, which will play sound and vibrate for notifications when the screen of your phone is on. And inside lock screen, there is only one option present and that is double tap to sleep option, which is not working at all. I don't know why the double tap to sleep option is not functioning in this room, although it has minimum customizations included in it. And from button setting, you can enable advanced restart option as well as playback control feature is also added, which will skip music tracks when you long press volume buttons while screen is off. And at last on miscellaneous, there is only one feature which is ignore window secure flags. And this option will remove the restrictions on screenshot and screen record for all the applications like on Netflix, some banking apps, etc. And seeing only one or two customization options inside its main customization settings section make this room simple and different than others. But still it is weird to see only one or two options inside miscellaneous and on other settings as we have habit of seeing tons of customizations on custom rooms. But don't worry even if it does not come with many options on miscellaneous. This room provides unlimited photos and video storage feature in it. So that you don't need to worry about having out of stories while uploading photos or videos on google Photos. and talking about other basic settings available in this room i'll enter into its app settings where there is no game space option and inside default app section as you can also see it has tequila launcher available in its home setting you will get minimal features like notification dots suggestions etc and from recent app section you can get options like app info and split top option only other options are removed from here and if you look down below you will find that only screenshot quick action button is present and after taking screenshot you can only share and edit it now going back to other settings i'll show its battery settings from where you can get four different options including battery percentage and you will also get extreme battery saver option from its battery saver option and in display setting you will find adaptive brightness option along with dark theme and inside dark theme there is only schedule option present and no any custom themes are available in it and moving towards security setting you will get fingerprint option but there is no any face unlock option to unlock the phone and this is not a good thing but they should have implemented at least face unlock feature in this room and inside system setting you will get gesture option from where you can enable swipe three fingers down to take screenshot option and this option is working perfectly so this is all about the new tequila OS based on latest android version 13 and with latest march 2023 security update this is a new room which aims to give minimal customization with smooth and stable user experience i have been using this room for a week and i haven't experienced any bugs or lags in this room so what do you think about this room? You can share your thoughts and experience related to this room on comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Crack Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.